Hi guys, this is a quick video to show the, uh, to show you how to um, you know create an IM user and um, uh, install the AWS CLI and configure the AWS CLI, CLI so that you can run um, commands from your, your your command prompt or from your terminal and um, you know. API calls to services in AWS. So the first thing to do, I'm in the AWS environment. So I logged into my AWS account. You can log into your AWS account any way you want, right? The first thing to do is you want to go to IAM. So just search for identity and access management, which stands for, um, that's IAM, right? Identity and access management. That's what IAM stands for. Go there quickly and uh, create a user. So let's create a user. The user will be called, um, let's just call this user. So that's the first thing you want to do uh, to get a secret key and access key for your CLI, because the CLI needs that, you need to create an IAM user, not an IAM role in this case. You will need to create an IAM user. So let's create a user called um, Primus Learning IAM user. Let's just call him that way. Let's grant him console access so he can log. In. Well, yeah, let's grant him console access. He can log into the console. I'll just give him some, some password here. Okay, and then I will create him. I'll go to next. And uh, I want to add him to a group. So you could add him to a group or you could give him permissions directly, right? So uh, I, can, I can attach permissions directly to this user. So I'll attach permissions directly to this user and the permissions I'll be attaching to this user. So you, you are kind of using a policy. You see how a policy is linked to a, a user. So the user by, by, by itself doesn't have permissions. The IAM user doesn't have permissions. You have to explicitly grant the IAM user permissions. You can grant, you can, you can grant the user permissions by attaching a policy, an IAM policy to that user. The policy is just a statement. It's just like um, a statement that is defining the types of permissions a user has, a role has, or anything in AWS has. So in this case, I want to grant the user we, just we are just creating a permission. That permission is called or a policy, right? It's just like granting them permissions. Th that policy is called administrator access. So I want to grant him full access to the AWS services. So that is what I'm doing. You see, I've, I've, I've selected the policy that I want to attach to it. And so I'm going to next and uh, I will just... Um, created. I will not do any other thing. You see, it has access to change its password. It has ac administrator access, so it has everything. So I have created this user, right? You can see the password and all of that. At first, once you created a user, you could you could uh, get already a secret key and access key created for that user immediately. But that's no longer the case. So I have to return to users. And look for the Primus Learning, uh, Primus Learning user and click on it. So once I click on it, I need to go to the security credentials. So go to the security credentials section. So this is new, guys. Uh, you, once you create a user, it doesn't, doesn't automatically come with a secret key and access key. So you need to, and secret access key, you need to go explicitly create it. So I'll come in here, go to security credentials so you go to users go to the new user you just created you know that you have granted it permissions if you don't grant it permissions when you when you do this the cli you will not be able it will return an error because you don't have permissions to do whatever you're doing so you want to go to security credentials manage console access oh no not console access sorry uh let's look at uh, manage keys access keys so want to create an access key so you can click here to create an access key. What do you want to use the access key for? So there are four 
or five things that you can do or more, or even more. So you can create this to use for the command line interface, which is one what we want to do. You can do is it, it to use for local code and so many other things. There are different things that you can want to use the 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 keys for the access keys for. So in this case, we want to use the access keys for our command line prompt or or as our CLI. Uh, option right so we're selecting the cli option there and then you're saying you understand whatever policies they are telling you to understand up there and you go to next and you can give it a description uh my access keys i'm just giving a naughty decision uh, uh, thing there and you create i've created it you have to download it if you lose them you have lost them that's it you will not gain, get them anymore so I have the access key right here. This is the access key. The secret access key is, you know, is hidden. So uh, you've, you've created your user. You have to save this. These are the two things you need. You, you need the access key and you need the secret access key to be able to work with the CLI. After doing this, of course, you guys must have known how to download the CLI. So you just go to AWS uh, CLI download you can just do this and download the cli if you have not yet downloaded the cli so you go in here go to installing update blah blah, blah. select this first one and you want to install the cli right you want to install it on what system if you, you are operating a linux a mac os a windows you can select the option that suits you so we want to do it on a windows and uh, here is the file that you need to download. You need to download this file and just once you see it automatically downloads. Once you download this, you simply double click on it. You simply double click on this file. It will open up and ask you to install. You just follow the prompt. Just click next, next, next. That's it, it will install. So if it will open up here, um, so it's taking a moment to open up. I, I have it already installed, so I will not need to do this anymore, guys. So it's coming up here. So it's still installing, it will take a more, it's still downloading. So once it downloads and completes this download, you just need to double click on it and it will start the installation. That's all you do, you double click, it starts the installation. So it's completed, you double click, you see, that's what I'm doing. You see, it's it's asking me, welcome to the AWS CLI, blah, 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 please wait while the set up wizard prepared to guide you through the installation. So it will be step by step. You just take next, 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 right? Next, next, next. I already have it installed, so I will not want to follow this process. You guys should be able to do it just by next. You see, it's just next. Go to next, accept, and then go to next, next. It will ask you for next. And then install, that's it. Just hit install, I will install, and that's it. You don't need to do anything. Once you've installed it, you then need to search for the command line prompt. And when you type CMD here, the command, your command line prompt will come up. This is your command, command prompt right here. This is your command prompt. If you just type CMD on your search bar, look at where I'm searching. I'm searching for the command prompt. So I typed CMD. Or you type terminal. I think if you type terminal, it will come up. Terminal, it will come up. You type, um, yeah. CMD or command prompt, it will come up. So I'm typing that and I will just bring it up, right? And if I do AWS, if I want, so the, the commands to use to, in, to, to configure the CLI is AWS space configure. So I simply need to do AWS space configure, figure, right? And that's it, AWS space configure. If you don't give the space, error if you give configure without e error if you give configure in capital letters error it has to follow the syntax the correct syntax so aws configure you hit enter it will ask you you see i already have a secret key and access key uh, uh, configured so if i want to configure the new one which i just did you can override this one by uh, doing it with a new one so i simply need to go back here Copy the access key. You see the access key, or I downloaded it. You can still have it in this file, but I'm using this one because it's right here. 
copy the access key, go back to, to the to where you run AWS configure and enter it, right? That's it. I hit enter. It will ask you for a secret access key. So this one is called the AWS access key ID. This is this one. Then it will ask you for a secret access key ID key. And you go back to that AWS user, copy this secret. You can copy it directly if you don't want to see it, but you can open it. If you open this document right here that you downloaded, you will still see it. So it's the same thing. You copy it, come back and just paste it here and hit enter. You can see it guys, no problem. And then you can pass the region if you want, else you can leave the region. The region you want to run in, if I'm in US East one, I will need to type US dash East dash one, sorry, dash one. If it's US East one or you leave it empty. If I leave it empty, it will pick the default which is US East one. So if I leave it empty, you pick the default if you don't know what the region is. So you can leave it empty. You can also pick the default output format. If you leave it empty, you will use automatically the JSON format, which is the default format. So if you hit enter, you are already done. You have configured your AWS environment already. And that's all you guys need to know about configuring the CLI. So if I run, for instance, the AWS, if I run, for instance, the AWS So if I run, for instance, the AWS S3 LS, I should be able to list my buckets in this account. You see, I'm able to list my buckets in my AWS account because um, my, my CLI is working properly now. So guys, I just wanted to quickly show you how this, uh, this CLI setup and IM user thing works. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.